Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And, well, one squad member, I can't think of the right words for it except to say she lost her ever-loving mind in the middle of a congressional hearing. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Guys, seriously, it's an election season. It really helps us out when you do that, and we appreciate it so much. So, we're in the middle of the Robert Herr hearings today, and the special counsel who investigated Biden's classified document scandal, you know, the one the media never wants to talk about when they're harping on Donald Trump, that one. Well, we're in the middle of it, and let me tell you guys, Democrats were grandstanding. You had Eric Fang Fang Swalwell, and he was talking about immigration and all these other things and abortion rights and all this stuff, and then asking the special counsel investigator to denounce Trump. And the special counsel guy's like, what? I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about Biden's classified document report. That's one example. Raskin was nowhere in the ballpark. He just talked about Trump and never got to the classified documents of Biden. Uh, Nadler, Schiff, they were just all off the charts. But one member took the cake. And in a world where Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, Adam Schiff, Eric Swalwell, Jerry Nadler, Maxine Waters, and Ocasio-Cortez exist. This one squad member and Congress member, she rises to the top of the insanity chart. And in my opinion, is the absolute worst member of Congress. That person, Cori Bush. So she took the opportunity of her questioning of special counsel her, she took the opportunity to actually go off on a tangent and she called former President Donald Trump a horrible name. I'm not even going to repeat it, but I'm going to let you listen to this woman say these things because I don't want to say them and I don't want you to hear me say them because they're horrible things. It's a horrible thing to call somebody, especially the former president of the United States. So give it a listen and then give me your thoughts and opinions on Cori Bush and all these Democrats when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. And thank you for being here, Mr. Herr. St. Louis and I are here today once again to focus on the real issues that affect our communities instead of partisan hit jobs. Let me start by saying that the potential mishandling of classified information is a serious issue. And I believe it was appropriate for the Attorney General to appoint both special counsels in the Biden and Trump cases. As my colleagues have pointed out, President Biden fully complied with the investigation conducted by Special Counsel Herr, who did not find evidence sufficient to warrant criminal charges. Despite this outcome, Republicans have used the Special Counsel's report to further their longstanding efforts to re-elect, re-elect the former white supremacist in chief, Donald Trump, who faces 40 criminal charges related to the mishandling of classified documents, including obstruction of justice.